Hello, my lovelies. I promised you guys a carousel making tutorial and here it is. So what I'm doing right now is basically I bought this half dome shape sphere that you can get from any lobby store. Look at that. I flipped it over because I was like, why did I put it the brown side? It should be white. Duh. And I basically glue gunned it because I had to have it you know with no hole in the middle you can buy a full one but the full one has it's that other styrofoam that i don't like that kind of gets all over the place this one is the softer one so i'm bas i'm basically glue gunning the edges together so that i know it's nice and firm and now i wet the styrofoam a little bit and i'm covering it up with fondant and you're gonna get a few air bubbles so use like a a little needle or something uh, to poke the air bubbles off a safety pin um, I also wet the sides and like you saw me do I'm tucking those parts of the fondant and uh, it's not going to show that part it's going to be under so that's fine this is basically the top of the carousel I didn't know this but you can take a piece of fondant and actually smooth fondant with fondant and that's what I was doing previously I dipped it in cornstarch and was smoothing it out now this is the bottom of the carousel and uh, again it's styrofoam just to make sure it's sturdier and you can get these from any local hobby store i wet the fondant so that it sticks on there and basically tucking it in like i did with the other one and now again i'm going to smooth it out with a piece of fondant which works amazingly so cool ella, ella makes cakes is the one who told me about this all right look at that I did cut through a lot of the stuff you didn't really have to see so just getting to the important part now this is one of those puzzle rolling boards that you use to roll a puzzle when you're done with it i happen to have it so it's perfect for the middle tier you can i guess you can find one at a local hobby store i guess too anywho again covering this piece up with fondant cutting it up to the right size and I wet it so that it sticks to it and now I'm basically just going to roll it over it. Alright, and I'm going to smooth out the edges, same thing, use a piece of fondant as well to smooth out the edges and trim off any excess. I found that rolling it too works great. That is cornstarch, I like cornstarch better than powdered sugar. Powdered sugar I feel is very grainy to work with, cornstarch feels much better and no it does not dry it out that much. There you go. So I accidentally did not move the camera up so that I can show you guys me glue gunning the top styrofoam half dome part onto here. And I had to skip that part. Sorry, guys. But this is the bottom board, which I should have done before I covered. Or maybe not. It was easier to cover this way. And this is a styrofoam cutter, which you can get at any local hobby store, which is a blessing to have. And it's just slicing through that styrofoam so easily. It is so cool, you guys. You need to get one if you don't have one. That's it. So I measured out that. It didn't fit. So I had to actually trim it out a little bit more to make sure that it's going to be tucked in right there. All right. Now that I tucked it in tight and secure, I'm just glue gunning the edge because I'm going to put a little pearl border around that anyways to make sure that that is also secure on there. Same thing, I'm sorry I didn't show you me glue gunning the top, but I basically just glue gunned the top. You want to make sure that you center it. It wasn't as centered as I wanted, and you can kind of tell, but once it was on the cake, you couldn't really tell. That was the hard part. I was like, how am I going to center this? But yeah, I should have flipped it over and centered it. Again, glue gun. You always need glue gun. If you're in arts and crafts, you got to have a glue gun, dudes. Okay. So this is the really tedious part in which you just take a bunch of molds, whatever decorations you want, cut out the molds, and you're going to stick them onto the carousel itself. That is up to you. That design is up to you. You want ropes, you want ribbons, you want whatever you want. You, um, you want scrolls, whatever kind of things you have, you can be creative. And I'm, I just used a bunch of my Wilton molds that I have, some molds that I bought online, and basically use your mini steamer steam that fondant this is the next day so it's pretty hard now which do you want so it doesn't leave any fingerprint marks and i'm basically just sticking on the the molds that i cut out from all around and like i said i decorate decorated it how i 
felt the need to used whatever mold I had and you see it all coming together I put a pearl to cover up that um, glue gun and there you go covering that part up too I'm gonna put a rope on top which I forgot to move, move the camera up to show you but there's ropes coming up on top and that's pretty much it basically just adding and this is the most time consuming part yeah making it is time consuming but cutting out molds is awful all right this is a the horse mold in which i got from i forgot where online somewhere anyways you're going to use gum paste and find it because you want it to be hard and once you set that in there put it in the freezer for a little bit so that it hardens and it's easier to take out once you take it out put it on the side so that it's completely hard uh, and then what you do is you're going to glue gun those horses onto a straw and then you're going to glue gun the straw onto the actual carousel itself from the top and the bottom and you'll see that in the pictures coming up that's the end of the tutorial i hope it helps you guys thanks so much and come back and watch